way, like, all of this is my opinion, but duh, that's why you're here. So, if you have a problem with that, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> What up guys, it's Steph. Let's just talk, man. In my opinion, authenticity is really hard to find online. Creating genuine friendships and bonds online is not impossible, but it is kind of difficult. I think it's because we can form entire identities online that have nothing to do with our real life, that it kind of just like messes with trying to get to know people online because you have no idea what they're actually like. I'm lucky that I've never been catfished physically because, you know, I have a pretty good vetting process <laughs> on like who I'm trying to meet if I'm trying to meet somebody that I do not know in real life. But we never talk about how people catfish their actual personalities. It's disappointing when you meet somebody and they're like a shell of what they portray online. Now, I'm not the police. You can make... Obviously, I'm not the police. I'm not telling people how to be. It's a frustration of mine when you meet somebody online and you connect with them really well, but in person, their personality is a shell of what they portray. It had me thinking like, okay, not everybody's gonna use the internet like how I use it because I'm all about authenticity. I'm not gonna say like I'm the realest human around, but like, okay, I'm gonna say I'm the realest human around. Okay, okay, okay. But like, here's the thing. I've had people like vibe with me online and they're like, oh my God, you're so funny. You're so this, you're so that. And then like they meet me and I'm exactly like how I am on here and somehow the connection falls flat. Like, I don't know, like, were you assuming that I was gonna be different? But maybe, because a lot of people are just so different. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of going in circles, but I know that this is gonna get somewhere. I'm 100% all for making real connections with people, so I would never wanna do or say something to lead someone astray into thinking that I'm somebody I'm not, because, like, I am me. So, like, I hope you like me for me. But a lot of people are scared to show their true personalities. And I've noticed that for like the longest time because I've been on the internet for the longest and it's hilarious. Definitely comes from maybe a place of insecurity. There's a personality that I've tried to cosplay as one time. It, it lasted a good 18 hours. I don't think I can get through the whole day. I've been told before, stuff you're too overbearing, stuff you're too much, stuff you're gonna scare people away if you show them your entirety of yourself so fast. And I've been like trying to scale it back. Like, okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna like let people ask me questions, like talk less listen more, which is good. It's always good to listen more. But I found that I'd get the same or worse results when I tried to like scale back my personality to make another person comfortable. It just doesn't work. Maybe I didn't try it enough. I don't know. <laughs> and like, why would I want to do that? Because I don't know. We all like to be liked, right? And people say, when I say people say, like who says? Okay. The media. We live in a society. The goal would be like to continue being real and people will flock to you and like you will get everything that you want out of life. But I don't know. Why do we put being shy and mysterious on a pedestal? Because of all the people that I've met, shy people are the most irritating personalities. I, I cannot stand them. Like talk, speak up. What do you stand for? I hate shy guys so much. And when I say shy guys, I mean shy guys and girls. I just, I, I hate, I hate shy individuals so much. Like if you are shy, please, please, I love you. I understand you have issues, but do not ever hit my line, ever. Don't, don't do it, I, I can't. There's definitely a lot of factors that can make a person the way they are, but for some reason I've just never meshed well with the shy personality, which is hilarious because I come from two parents who I think on this scale of like super outgoing to shy, they both veer around the shy category. I don't know, maybe I was adopted. Shy people suck because you, ca you can't notice them in a crowd. You try to talk to them, they're antisocial. You try to connect with them on a deeper level. They have so many freaking walls and I'm, I'm not here to mine. I'm not here to like... I've been told before that I have an overbearing personality that can kind of scare people away and it's hilarious to me because not to be like, I'm so tiny and cute, but like I'm five foot three and a girl. And I can't, like, oh, ugh. physically I am so non-threatening. So it's like, why, why do I get the overbearing label? But then I realize it's like, okay, probably because I talk a lot, but the opposite of that disgusts me. I cannot sit here and try and break down your walls to get to know the real you because it's happened before where I've like done that. It's like those Russian nesting dolls where you just like open one up and then there's another one in there and you open that up until you come to nothing. In my perfect world, people would be more transparent with how they were instead of trying to like 
have this entire facade on how they are. Like being meek isn't cute and we put it on a pedestal. We're like, oh my gosh, I love the aesthetic of the dainty, mysterious girl that you don't really know her inside because you don't even know what's in her head. Why? Why do we like this? Why do we like that aesthetic? I was a little bit insulted when I got told that I was overbearing, but then I came to realize like, nah, I'm not overbearing. Y'all are just too freaking quiet for me and I, I can't deal with that. I'm not saying that I would like a world where there's a million people like me and I don't even think I'm the loudest person in the room. Like you put me in a room full of loud people, I will not be the loudest in the room. You put me in a room full of shy guys, all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, she's too much. Like, what are we gonna do with her? <sighs> but I'd like to turn it on its head. What are we gonna do with y'all, shy folks? Why do we applaud people who are mousy and mysterious when really, like, they just don't have the confidence to be themselves and see if people actually like them if they share their personality? This is why the whole quarantine thing is absolutely killing me because I enjoy meeting people in social settings and this has made us all, like, indoors, like, we're trapped in these walls. And how am I supposed to make friends when y'all motherfuckers are so damn mousy? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like what is stuff gonna do, man? I guess a good thing about being authentic, if that's like your brand or what you strive to have in all your spaces, is that people get what they follow. I'm never gonna like hoodwink somebody and be like, oh, just kidding, I'm not actually like that, but I've seen so many people like, even the people who try to form like a fake outgoing personality online, you can see through it. Like, why are you like this online? Like, I know you in person, you are a freaking mouse. What are you doing? Is this mean? I just wish that more people would be honest. Be you, but also stop being shy. Is that a like message? I don't know. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video and you like me, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me, then you can always subscribe. And my links will be down below. All right, I'm going to go now. Peace. Let it flow, honey. I love you. I love you. I love you. Just keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. And we got this. And start. Authenticity is hard to find. And 